Hi everybody, my name is Carolina Diamond, welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be cooking some hamburger helper, um, a nice little small one hit wonder dish when it's so hot. Right now in North Carolina guys, it is a whopping 93 degrees. And so I decided to show you guys how to cook a small one hit wonder dish that is so fast. You'd be like, oh my God, I'm so glad I'm done with dinner and I can sit down and rest because it's so hot. So these are the ingredients that we're going to need for this dinner tonight. You guys can see I already have my ground beef, hamburger helper, salt, pepper, onions, bell pepper. I have my seasoned salt, meat tenderizer, salt, and of course, the black pepper. So guys, this is what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our spatula. Hello, Hello. 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 Which is a an organic cooker from Italy. So this is what I have right. I wish that I had a bigger spatula, but it's not going to be a body but me and another guest for dinner tonight. So I'm going to cook small instead of big. I love to rinse out my spatula. I'll be right back, guys. We're going to get a wash cloth. Basically, what I'm going to do is go ahead and wipe out my spatula. Go ahead and place it on the stove. But in the meantime, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my ingredients. And what you're basically going to do, I know you, some of you guys like a lot of meat into your hamburger helper. Some of you guys are on a diet, so go ahead and put your meat in at your discretion. But for me, I am going to use this little pot. You can get any bowl you want, but I just love to use a pot because it's, it gets to the point. For me, I'm going to take... I'm going to use, as you can see guys, this is uh, a half, half a pound of ground beef. So instead of using the whole thing, I'm just going to use half of it, which would be one quarter pound of ground beef. Because me, yeah, I'm on a diet, guys. I've already lost 10 pounds. Yay! I quit drinking alcohol, took all the sugar, and um, broke down my carbs down to uh, great carbs that you need, you know, like... Um, uh, vegetables that's green and you know salads and things of that nature so what i'm going to do now guys is go ahead and open up my ground beef and it's already pretty um pretty washed guys and uh there's no blood or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just get to it by opening it up you guys can see what i'm doing just taking a knife basically just cut it up open very similar to the point you guys can season your food as you want to. Never ever be afraid to season your food because I was taught that's how you learn how to cook. And trust me, guys, when I started out at the age of, I guess I must have been like 11 or 12 when my mother allowed me to finally cook in the kitchen. It took a lot of practice for me to learn how to use salt and pepper. Oh, I used to not put enough salt in it or put too much in it. But, you know, as you know, time progressed and I became a mother, now a grandma, thank you, Jesus, you just learn how to cook. So there you go, guys. I put half of that in there. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and wrap this back up with um, some more plastic seal. You guys can use aluminum foil, whatever you like. For me, I like to just go ahead and use the plastic wrap. I just get to the point and, hey, keep getting the freezer burning. And then, you know, if I want to use it to make a little, you know, taco salad, etc., whatever I might, then, hey, I just pull it out on thaw and just get to it. So I got that wrapped up. Yes. You know, I know some of you guys don't like that plastic wrap because sometimes the plastic wrap, it gets uh, stuck around the spool. 
But if you just work with it, take your time with it, come out perfect, yo. And then if you stop your, your meats or whatever you're wrapping up again. I mean, like, you're getting freezer burns and stuff like that. But getting back to the ground beef, I am going to now, guys, go ahead and cut my onion up into four pieces, four, four halves, because I'm not going to use that much onions. You know, some of you guys like onions. Me, I just like just a little bit, not too much. This is a good spring onion, y'all. I love spring onion. I love the way it smells. Oh my God. It just brings out your food more than regular onions that, you know, people just use. There's some people just go grab an onion. I don't know what kind of onions, but me, I love spring onions. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is just go ahead and take these halves, put them in the refrigerator because I'm not going to need that much for me. Just go ahead and wrap them back up. And like this time, I, I love, I love to use these little poultry bags, plastic bags, guys. They work one, one just when you are in the kitchen and you don't have time to keep running towards the trash can. I like to put them right in the kitchen. I can just put all the things I want to throw away, you know, things that smell like, I, for example, tuna, onions or whatever, you know, onion peelings or whatever into this trash. Or even just a little small little packaging that, you know, comes off, you know, the products that we buy from the grocery store. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is just take this one fourth onion. I'm going to dice it up. As you can have want to me, I don't have a chopping block because my chopping block has got old and you don't have to get enough, but you know, there's always around things in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just go ahead and take a regular plate, and you can see as I'm doing it. A regular plate, let me see if I can lower it down, and just pretty much dice up my onions. Just small pieces. Put your onions, cut your onions the way you want to. With me, I like mine very fine and diced. So I'm just going to cut them in small pieces. And a lot of people, you know, don't like cutting onions up because they say it make the eyes water. But I have a couple of things that, you know, um, my grandma and my mother tell me all the time, put a needle in your mouth or or basically <laughs> just go real fast and just get one of those pulverizers and you don't have to worry about it. But me, I have no problem with it because I love the smell of onions. It makes me think about a, a Coney Island hot dog, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up in small pieces, as you can see. No problem to me. I just love it. And I've never had a problem with uh, my eyes watering with onions until, you know, I was a teenager. But my mom would have, and my or, or the whole family would cook for family unions or church occasions where we had to sit there and cut onions up for days. I mean, God, we cook it for 20 people or more. You'd be cutting onions all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop them up real quick as I can just to go ahead and get this video done, guys, because I'm so excited to be cooking with you guys today. I know it's hot, so make sure that you drink plenty of water, plenty of water. And if you're going outside and the temperature's hot like mine here in the Carolinas when it's like a whopping 92 degrees right now, basically just make sure you put that sunscreen on, make sure the SPF is 15 above so you don't get sunburned. And I don't care what anybody tell you, it does not matter with the color of your skin, and you still can get sunburned and still get uh, skin cancer. So you have to be very, very careful when you go out there. And please, guys, drink lots of water. So I got that dice up pretty good. So I'm going to push that to the side, as you can see. Then I'm going to take this, my bell pepper. I love bell peppers. Wash it off. Guys and girls, please, honey, well, ladies and gentlemen, because I know we all growing up in here. Please make sure you always wash your vegetables because you don't know who has been it when you go to the uh, grocery store. I love washing my vegetables, honey. Okay, what nobody to tell you. The best way to do is be safe and keep it clean. So I'm going to take this right, guys. I'm going I'm to go ahead and wrap this up in the plastic, um, excuse me. And the, uh, the plastic roll that I had before, which is nothing no more than plastic wrap. I'm just going to wrap that up and place that in the refrigerator. You know, a lot of people down here in North Carolina and South Carolina always say refrigerator. And that when I first moved here from the village last time, they called refrigerators cabinators. Lord bless my uncle, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> I have two uncles who love to call things like refrigerators, cabinators, or, you know, call frigidaires, or, you know, things of that nature. And I think about them all the time, though they, you know, gone and, and moved on and gone home to glory to God or whatever the case may be. Um, it just makes me laugh because I remember I used to laugh about it all the time. And be like, what you laughing at, girl? That's the way we talk down here. <laughs> like, And I just remember those good times. And then, you know, my granddad or the whole family get together and you know, kill a hog or whatever down here in the country. And I was like, oh my God, you know, how can they do that? But one thing I realized is that 
it ain't nothing like family. Family that prays together, cooks together, they stay together. You know, it's just family values that you learn as a kid that you never thought, well, when I get old, I'll never do that. But you know what? Good habits always fall on you, honey. I, I don't care where you come from or who you are. If you've been taught something that's very valuable to you, please, honey, always pass it down. Because I tell you what, good always outweighs anything's bad. And cooking with your family, honey, and having a good time sitting down and, you know, growing as a family by eating together, priceless. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is go ahead and pour the onions and the bell pepper inside the ground beef right here now. Yeah, it's so good. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put my spatula or my pan on a very low medium seven. Place this in the kitchen sink. Watch. Guys, I forgot to put my onions up. I don't know why I forgot that. I guess I got so excited talking about, you know, when I was a little girl growing up, how I learned how to cook and how our family down here in the Carolinas, we just love to cook and have parties, get-togethers, church functions. And I'm basically just putting these onions, y'all, these spring onions, inside a plastic plastic wrap. You put it back in the refrigerator. And to always keep your vegetables fresh, guys, we have lost. So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is go ahead and I'm going to turn up a little bit because it's getting a little hot in here, guys, because I'm trying to sit down and enjoy the nice uh cool fan you know i just realized my mom might be coming over so instead of me just putting that half a pack of um ground beef i'm gonna go ahead and put the other half in there and then and guess what have left over for tomorrow we have to about cooking you know yes when he like this way this here in the south y'all i'm gonna tell you right now the best thing that you can do is cook leftovers and Enjoy them <laughs> because it is too hot to be cooking every day. Y'all feel me? I love to cook, but honey, I love to stay cool too. But anyway, I put the rest of that half in there. I'm gonna throw it away in my little trash bag right here. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Just want to get the food on because it is 5:30. I usually like to try to cook by five, but I'm running a little late today. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn, turn. You guys can see what I'm doing. Just turning up the onions and the ground beef. So, with that being said, okay, now I'm gonna add my seasoning after I wash my hands. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and add just a sprinkle of seasoned salt. You can use it at your discretion. I just oh, bought this today at Cable Weekly, guys. I got a great deal on it, two for $2. And I was like, yeah, I'm glad I'm here. So I'm just basically, I'm um, just taking off the the technical ceiling that I bought that's on the uh, seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and while I'm doing that, go ahead and season with the season salt just a little bit, not too much, y'all. Y'all can do how y'all want to, but me, I don't need that much season salt, just enough to wake up the flavor. So I'm going to put that on my seasoning rack over here. You guys can't see my seasoning rack is right here. We're getting back to the meal. I'm going to go ahead and add some meat tenderizer. I gotta do the same thing I did before because these both of these bottles just came from the grocery store. So just go ahead and unwind it. Pull it off. There we go. Then the very next thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit on there, not too much, but just enough to wake it up. I say about a half, maybe probably not even a half a tablespoon. Got my onions going on. Next thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of some black pepper. Love me some pepper. All on top. Achoo! Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. I know pepper do to you. Make it sneeze. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some salt. I just bought some new salt today, but I do have an old box of salt over here that I'm trying to before I throw it away. I don't put very much salt in my food. I really don't. Just a dash to wake it up and pretty much I let the guests or whoever I'm eating dinner with add their own salt because I don't like too much salt but other people in my family they just love to put a lot of salt on their food. And what I'm going to do now is continue to grind it up. 
Let's grind it up. Make sure all the ingredients is grind up together. And uh, push that to the side. And then the very next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add it to the spatula. Can y'all see me at the stove right here? I'm going to try to pull it up where you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going ahead and place it in the spatula, which I already told you is already on a medium seven. So it should be ready for a brownie. Oh, yeah. It smells oh so good. I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to put all this over in here. I got my bell peppers, my onions. My seasoning and everything in there. I'm gonna let that cook for about 15, 15 minutes. Put this in the, in the sink. So now for you youngsters that need to know how to cook, always make sure that you got a parent in the kitchen with you so you know what you can do. Have mom and dad or whoever that's watching over you show you how to read this and go exactly by this. But me, I am a little bit more advanced. I've been cooking for over Oh my God, over 30 years. <laughs> I don't want to tell my age, but it is what I think of my age, of every age I have. But I put ground beef, I put onions, I put um, uh, bell peppers in mine, and I put seasoning salt. But as you can see right here, it says cook um, up to, I need my glasses to, I guess, eight to nine minutes, brown it or whatever, and you drain it. Me, I like to cook mine. I put a double portion in here, so I'm going to cook mine for about 10 minutes. And then uh, after that, you cook some more, then you add your ingredients. But I'm going to show y'all a different twist. Y'all can always read the box, but I'm going to show you my way. So I'm going to let that cook. And uh, go ahead and place a lid over my scratch cooker. I like to go ahead and speed it up. And what it does, when you put a lid over your food, it seals in all the steam and the flavor. So that when your meat comes out and you add it to the contents or whatever you like. For me, this is, I'm going to use my hamburger helper. It makes the meat just boom. I mean, it just tastes oh so good. So, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my vegetables on, which is gonna be a can of sweet potato. No, not sweet potato. Let's try some sweet corn. Sweet corn. And normally, I would have my own way. You know, you just peel it and you pull the shelf off and you just cut it up. But you know, um, with the heat and with the truck driving, we could not find um, fresh ear of corn, so I had to go and get the can of corn, but no problem. Thank God we got some corn. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up. I'm going to find my can opener. Okay, this is the sink here. This is the, uh, this right. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm just going to put one can inside of a saucepan and cook it about 15 to about 20 minutes. Add a little bit of butter to it. Salt, pepper. Add what you like, but that's what I'm gonna add and you know have that for a little bit of vegetables and I'm gonna make a salad. And that's gonna be dinner for tonight. So basically I open that up, put that in the sink wash. Open that up. Now I gotta find me a sauce pot. I gotta get low. Oh my god, I can get some of my pies all the way back here. My knees are, I just had knee surgery about uh, three weeks ago. It's still tender. Well, not three weeks ago, about nine weeks ago. I'm out of cash now, about three weeks. And my knee is still tender. So, oh no. <laughs> I got it really hurt to get this one. Only because I love y'all. Oh, Jesus. Pray for me, y'all. I'm still healing. Okay, got it. Good. All right, got it. Ooh, took me a while to get that, didn't it? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and rinse this out. Well, too much stuff. I don't know. Just something I learned from my mom. Let's go ahead and rinse it out. Dry it out. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and add the corn to the pot. A lot of times, um, my grandmother, what she used to do is, she didn't like using the water out of the cans or whatever. She would take it, and pretty much she never really used canned foods, but she had to because she was tired or whatever. 
she would just drain all the water out from whatever the was in the company. She put her own spring water in it. You know, some things that different cooks do, but me, I just go ahead and just throw it in there. I'm gonna put some butter in there, some salt and pepper. Let that thing know about this one here. You know, you can do stuff like you guys want to. Just some things I've learned coming from the people that I love growing up as a kid. So, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a new knife. And one thing about me, y'all, if y'all notice when I cook, I'm always saying the utensils, throw them in the sink, and then I rewash them instead of using the same one. I, I, I don't know, it's just something that I've always done as a kid. But what I'm gonna do now is put about um, two tablespoons of butter inside my um, my corn. And if you guys don't know how to determine how much two tablespoons of butter is on a, on a stick of butter, all you gotta do is look at the side. You see the little, uh, let me see if I can make it clear for you guys. This little lines between that, that means one tablespoon, two tablespoons. So that is approximately two tablespoons. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and throw that in the pot or my corn. Throw this butter wrapper away in my little bag over here. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. When I say little bag. Y'all see that? I like to use one of those right there to basically put my little trash in and I can just tie it up and throw it in the, in the main trash. So, but anyway guys, I'm gonna put that in there. And while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my dishes. Put them up first and wash my dishes. Casserole bowl. I took a wonderful cheeseburger macaroni casserole last night and it was slamming, y'all. Slamming so much I didn't get a chance to eat them. My brother just came up here and just tore it up. I'm putting on my dishes now, y'all. Give me just a minute. We'll get back to this cookie because I'm ready to sit down. And I love to put my major cooking utensils over here to the side. I'm gonna close that up for the bowl up here. And of course, I cook a cheese uh, cheesecake pie last night. It was gone. You see, it's gone. But I love to keep those aluminum pans just for, you know, if you want to just take some meat or whatever and just put it inside the refrigerator because you know you just want to just keep it for leftovers is a good thing I put on the foil on it and it does the job y'all so now what I'm going to do now is go ahead and turn my corn on a medium six to let it go ahead and marinate sit there for a little while and then in about five minutes I'm going to put my seasoning which is basically a little bit of parsley and I like salt and pepper and just let it go for what it does okay but getting back to it, watching these dishes y'all I gotta tell you I love I love to have a clean kitchen. I cannot, will not cook in a dirty kitchen. I mean, you know, everybody got that little perks in mind. I just, I just love to be clean. I, I think cleanliness is next to godliness. And then, you know, people come to your house and like, oh gosh, let's cook our kitchen clean. We just gonna stay here. <laughs> I'm just joking. I just, I'm just a clean person. The home way I was raised in the military. So, but anyway, getting back to this food. I'll go ahead and. Put my water in here. Now it's about time to get some more done. I have another bottle back there in my utility room. Utility closet, well, utility laundry room, in other words. Everybody pronounce things differently. I'm no different. Oh my God, it is so hot, guys. Oh my God, I'm so glad. Now it's getting cloudy outside. I love it's getting ready to rain. So that, that is great to me. I love that. Turn it down just a little bit. Oh God, y'all, that ground beef is smelling so good. Just gonna, trying to give it time to brown up. Clean things up a little bit. Ready time to go ahead and knock it out. Guys, I thought about ending this video to make it more professional, but this is my first recorded video in a long time. So I'm not gonna edit this one. I'm gonna upload it. Cause I'm trying to test out this new software that I have on my computer for recording movies. And I wanna see it in entirety, so. But when you see this video in the playback, please, guys, give me your um, advice on how I can make my channel better because, you know, I decided to change if you guys like the name. And I love and I love other people's advice, especially for you guys who have been around me since I've been on YouTube. I value advice. I'm thinking about changing my channel name to Carolina Diamonds Diner and drop the production. Or what do you think, guys, just think is cooking? Just keep it as Carolina Diamond Productions. So I'll put that um, in the description or maybe put it on my community tab. 
so you, I can truly get you guys um, a pen. Let me turn that down because it's on a high seven. I want to cook that fast. <laughs> so I turn it on a four for now because I'm washing dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and clean. Let's see all the in the dish right. We get back to our cooking. Yeah, I have lost some weight. Y'all got to see my little traps coming in. I've been working out, y'all. And I, you know, guys, I'm going to tell you the best thing I think I've ever done, and I feel so great. I am on my seventh day of sobriety. Can you guys believe that? No alcohol. Carolina Dama has not drank alcohol in seven days. And I'll tell you what, I feel good, too. I really do. I have not been, I ain't never been a real bad drunk, let's put it that way. I just can't handle my alcohol like some of you guys can, but... I have not been um, sobriety free from alcohol since I was 18. It feels great. And I mean, I, I get it because I I guess when my aunt passed away and I looked at my video, and I was like, oh my God, that is the wrong way to. Uh, what I'm doing now is guys working out the meat. I turn it down a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Turn it down a little bit and uh, I'm just working it up so I can put it inside the hamburger heifer. And I'm just going to let it brown up and then I'm going to drain it. And then I like to go ahead and uh, put it inside the hamburger heifer. So I'm basically just going ahead and cut it up until it's brown. You guys, just, I'm going to show you in just a minute what's going on here. I just want to say that I swear it seems like it's still got its mind of its own. And it's on too, y'all. Y'all see how red it is? It's probably about time to replace this stove, I guess. I don't know. But I turned that sucker down, honey. Well, continue to break up the ground beef. And oh god, these onions smell so good in the bell peppers. And pretty much it's not gonna take that long. Wait, this thing is egging. I don't understand. I, I tell y'all guys, I got my my thing on too. And you see how red it is? I don't understand that. That's kind of scary to me. I'm gonna watch my meat. I really don't. I'm going to make it cook too quick. So let's put this thing down on the summer, see what happens. <laughs> but I'm going to take my spoon. I usually have a fork, but I'm going to put it on the uh, dish rack and my plate. Right? I'm going to put it back on it and let it go. I'm going to think, but I'm watching this because I'm thinking about switching eyes, guys, because I don't know what's going on. But to me, it seems like it's about time to, I don't know, check it out and see what's going on. <laughs> but right now, I just turned my corn. I realized I didn't have it on. I'm going to find a way to I tell you, it is hot, hot, hot. And one thing I hate is coming to the kitchen when it's hot. I hate it. Y'all see how much I, I promise y'all look. This thing is on too. Y'all see that? It's on too, right there. And look at it. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> but anyway, y'all. I think what I'm going to do is switch eyes. I, I can't stand that. I, can, I hate that. I gotta see what's going on. This bad boy. There we go. Okay, now now it's uh going like it's broken. Now we've got corn going on. We got this on a medium six back here. Let it catch up. Let it catch up with the food. So, matter of fact, we're talking about seven, so we can catch up with the meat. Cause the meat was cooking at a fast rate, but I had to turn it off, then turn it back on because I realized what was wrong with it. And basically, I think it's about time to replace the eye on the stove. So, but in the meantime, while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and make my salad. And then by the time uh, that happens, we can go ahead and cook the hamburger helper. And guys, I'm going to also add some extra to it. Um, it's going to be uh, three types of cheese. Um, I like to use um, uh, cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, and mozzarella cheese on top. And it's just so good. That was just my, my, my little recipe. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get out the ingredients for the salad. So what I'm going to do is uh, find something to put the salad in. And me, I love these little pots I bought from Walmart. Uh, so I don't think you just use the pot for um, cooking it. No, I would use mine to make salads in too, also. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, Get out me some American fresh, fresh crunchy blends. And what it has is iceberg, Romanian lettuce, and it has carrots, red cabbage, and 
radishes, which is very good for your your um your, your digestive bowel. It, it's good uh, pro probiotics, and it's also good for your diet. Oh my God, I love salads. I got I I can eat salads for every day if you like it. Today's just gonna be basically a a chef salad. I'm just gonna add turkey, cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers, you know that little type of thing, just for a little side salad. Because like I told you guys, I am really into exercising and loving my results. Even though I spent 35 years in the military with 34 plus one with the late entry program, but I spent that many times in the military. But honey. When you call yourself retired, you realize, like, I ain't got to do this stuff no more. And you know how to do it. You just get so lazy. I, well, I'm just speaking for me because I can't speak for anybody else. But you know how to do it. But once you get back into it, you're like, yeah, I should have did this a long time ago. Yeah, I got on the scale that said 140. I was like, what? I was so happy. But anyway, enough of that. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my meat, which is glazed turkey. Glazed turkey. Glazed turkey. Yeah, I never tried glazed turkey. It is very good. I learned how to eat some of that in Germany. Uh, my best tour. I'm telling you, you go to your local dairy and it is the best thing ever. It is good for, you know, um, when you're not trying to, when you're trying to eat the pork and you want to change your diet. Get the turkey, get the uh, glazed turkey. Very good. And it smells oh so sweet. What I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these in little small pieces because it's not a real gigantic salad is just pretty much for me you know because i love to eat salads like when i get tired and don't want to cook and i don't feel like eating my leftovers i have my salad y'all really and what i'm doing is taking these little turkey pieces cut them in half i mean we'll actually pull them apart you know instead of me just cutting them up just give me time to sit back and enjoy some of this cool air because it's hot okay i'm gonna get another maybe one more slice why not i think i just cut the whole pack cut the whole pack up Pull them apart. And I'm putting this little package inside my little bag on the side over here. So I'm tending to uh, break the turkey apart. Um, dinner is going to be slamming, y'all. And it's quarter to six, so hopefully I'll be eating by 6.15. So I'm going to take that, go ahead and stir, up, stir it up a little bit. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get my tomatoes and cucumber. And cheese. So, you see. I got my cucumbers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and I got my mild cheddar cheese, and I'm going to also add some cheddar and some mozzarella cheese to it, and then also I'm going to add those three same cheeses inside the, uh, my hamburger helper. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my meat again and make sure that it is red, all the redness is gone on the inside. And it's looking good, y'all. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds, looks, smells good, y'all. Woo-wee! I'm going to show y'all what that meat looks like. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off. Man, I tell you, it is amazing. So y'all, that meat look like? Y'all see that? Wow, that looks great, doesn't it? So what I'm gonna do, guys? Normally people like to sit there and they drain their stuff their type of way, but me, I love to do my little thing. And basically, instead of me cooking inside of a spatula, I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it inside of a pot, which is more easier for me. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my pot out and take the meat. Take the meat. Let's put this salad to the side because I gotta get this uh. Hamburger helper going on, and we'll finish the salad as it as it starts. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a pancake. You call it pancake scoop, but I like to call it a, a, a scooper. What I just basically do is move my spoon, put it to the side, take my scooper to drain the meat, to completely drain the meat. Y'all see what I'm doing? And I place all my meat inside the pot. 
Just drain it. Make sure you get drain all that, that grease out of there, honey. I like to call it my manual George Foreman. Does <laughs> <laughs> it make any sense? Okay. Wow. And it's okay if you drop a little pig's head. It's all right. We all make mistakes, right? Nobody ain't perfect. So I'm going to continue to drain off. See, I'm still dropping the meat. Thank God for clean stove. And uh, go ahead and drain the meat. Sometimes you got to use little fingers to get all that extra little meat out of there. And there we go with that. So I'm going to place this to the side because I don't need that anymore. And the oil, what I'm going to do is put it inside the stove because all I want to do is cool off so when I do get ready to uh, dispose of the grease, it won't be so hot, it won't burn me. So while that's going on, I like to put that inside so that it uh, uh, cool down a little bit so it wouldn't mess up my drain or burn me or, you know, so I don't make just so I won't make a mess and hurt myself. How about that? So just let it cool off. So now, what we're going to do is, y'all give me just a second. I'm going to reach in here and get my ingredient that I really do need. Right back. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I cook my ground beef and I'm ground it. What I'm doing now is stir, stir in the hot water, milk, um, some sauce, mix the pasta. And uh, basically what I'm adding now is I'm going to need um, a one tablespoon of vegetable oil, which is already in the meat. I don't put the extra oil in my stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one and a, one quarter of hot water and two cups of milk, and one tablespoon of margarine. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Instead of me doing hot water, what I'll do is, that's why I got my glasses on. <laughs> it's like I said, around the kitchen, I want to, not until I get to start wearing my glasses. But see, I'm going to add about one and a quarter of water. This is about one and a, one and a half cup. So what I'll do is put, well, actually it's two cups. What I'm going to do is put a half, right, about right there. Y'all see what I'm saying? So I'll take that, put it in the microwave for about one minute. You guys can do it your way, you know, but me, I like to do it this way so we can cut down time because who has time to boil some water just to put some dog on up? Uh, I like to put it, let's put it on a minute half. Put it on some hamburger helper. So what I'm going to go ahead and do it, guys, go ahead and open this box up. You can read the directions or a simple, simple way to do hamburger helper. Or you know, if you are, you know, you guys have been cooking for a long time like I have, you can do your own ingredients. But this is how I'm doing mine. I am just going to basically just take this all out. Oh God, I could get better open the box, huh? I cut my nails off, so <laughs> it feels like a, throw oh, this away, drop the little noodle. What I'm going to do is go ahead and place all the, the Chewy Ranch Burger, that's what it's called. Put all the uh, pasta inside here. That's right there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take the hot water out. All right, got boiling over here. Hot, hot, hot. And what I'm gonna do is basically just spray it over, pour it over the pasta and the meat. And since it's just poured, I'll put that back into the uh, dish rack. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is get out and get the two cups of milk. So I gotta use that cup again. <laughs> Instead of me using whole milk, guys, I like to use reduced fat milk. Because like I said, I'm on a diet. You can use your whole milk, skim milk, any kind of milk you want. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill up this cup because it's equivalent to two cups. And I definitely got to make sure I put more milk on my grocery list. I love milk. Love it. Okay. What I'm going to do next is go ahead and place my milk inside the pasta and the meat. And I'm going to put that in the dish, dishwasher, the dish water. Place that stove on a seven. And I'm going to give you some butter margin. Two tablespoons, I think it's called four. Well, you guys, you don't have to go that by directions of what it says on the box. I'm going to put one tablespoon. Or you can, you know, you can cook your food the way you see fit. Like if you're on a diet, you don't have to put the whole uh all the ingredients in there you can cut some ingredients down you know cut back on calorie and say but me i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the um 
Because one cup or two tablespoons, I'm just going to put one tablespoon. So I don't need all that butter. That means there's more time on the treadmill, more time running. And since I can't run, Lord, I hate working on the treadmill right now. Can't wait till I start running again. So, here, yeah, guys, you don't know what a tablespoon looks like. It, like I told you before, it's right there. That's one tablespoon. You can see what the lines about is one tablespoon. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut. And that's why I love to freeze my butter because it is so easy to cut. And you can just try to put it back in the freezer. I love keeping my butter in my freezer. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and place that in here. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese sauce. Cheese sauce comes in there. It's called. Uh, uh, ranchy cheese ranch. It's supposed to be great, guys. I can't wait to try this recipe. I never tried cheese ranch. I always get cheese burgers. Let's try something different. So I'm going to put it in there. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's
Scotty. Oh, yeah. He's going very well. Okay. What I'm going to do, guys, because I got too much in the opening, I'm going to dial a little with a little bit of water. And you guys have been cooking a long time. You know when and what to add to your your food to make it better. I mean, I had a little bit more because I didn't want all that extra milk and I want to bring some of that fat up. I have some of the calories in it and make it better. Plus, it makes it, it makes it still come out pretty golden color. So, now, I'm getting back to the salad, y'all. What I'm going to do is go ahead and wash off my cucumbers. And go ahead and peel my stuff. Let me see if I can turn everything down. I want my... Everything is good. It needs to be. Alright. Make sure my food is down. Okay, it's on everything I need to be on the right settings. I can take these glasses off now because I'm not going to read anything. Alright. What we're going to do now is go ahead and wash my cucumbers. Make sure it's probably washed. Like I said, guys, I always wash your meat, wash your food, wash your vegetables, anything you get from the um, grocery store. But you know, man's been out. And what I'm just basically doing now, guys, go ahead and um, peel in the cucumbers. Some people don't like to keep, peel their cucumbers. They like to go ahead and cut them up. I mean, because, you know, a lot of, like they said, a lot of vitamins and all the uh, good ingredients are inside the skin of a vegetable or a fruit. But me, I like to go ahead and cut them up because I just like cucumbers without the skin on them. And I, sometimes I like to uh, cut them up real fine, put them in some vinegar and salt. Oh, my God, you have got yourself a great snack when you're trying to watch your weight or you ain't got to be watching weight. it's still just a, a good snack you know so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut this all up i'm just gonna do one guys because it's not i don't need to put all that cucumbers in a in a two well, in a three serving salad so i'm trying to go ahead and cut all that up okay I know somebody called me, y'all. I can feel it already. I and mean, I'm going live. I do what I got to do, then I call people, unless it's an emergency. If it's an emergency, they called me on my house phone. My house phone ain't but I can see my cell phone is going off. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to speed up the process. I don't want to cut my hands because this knife is very short. So, you guys can see, I'm pretty much cutting up the cucumbers, trying to get the rest of the grain off. Okay. So, as you can see that, that looks good. I'm going to wash it again. And I'm going to go ahead and bring, put all my peelings inside this bag over here. You guys can see why it's so convenient when I'm done cooking. What I'm going to do with it, you're like, oh my God, I should have thought of that myself. And I've got this little trick from one of the uh, sergeant ladies when I go over their house. I watch them. Like, you know what? I should do that myself instead of running to the trash can all, all the time. So, I'm going to do now is go ahead and cut off the cucumbers. Cut them as thick as you want me. I like mine to be small. So that's a lot of cucumbers. That's a large cucumber. So do all of that. Yeah, I have homework tonight, so um, that's why I'm I'm uploading this video tonight because I so I said, I'm gonna cook. I promised there I was gonna cook. I haven't cooked in a while. So I said, let's go ahead and make dinner. Something fast and something easy. But something enjoyable, you know. When it's too hot outside, you don't feel like cooking. But you're like, oh god, let me go ahead and cook for two, two days. So I have to cook tomorrow because it's so hot. So that's what I'm doing right now. So right now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tomato. Wash it off. Please wash it off. And y'all, please, please look at it. I know I used to do this all the time when I first got married. I uh, mean, you know, I got married young and divorced young. I would always leave just plastic on there. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> But now, you know, after you've been married and you know, had your kids and growing up, you always remember the little things that used to be your errors when you learn how to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into like uh, real small pieces, dice up tomatoes. You can cut yours the way you want to. And me, I like to go ahead and cut them in holes and, and cut them in fours. I'm going to show you guys in a minute what I'm talking about. I am just trying to go ahead and cut them on the side over here so I can speed up the process. I can sit down and enjoy the cool air. So I'm just going to cover up a whole tomatoes and just slice them. So you guys as thick as you want to. I like to cut mine really thin. 
But I'm not going to cut too much skin because I don't want to cut myself because this is a knife that's been sharpened from yesterday and it's real sharp. And then when I get to right here, guys, guess what I do? Throw it away. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to, what I'm going to do right now, guys, you see these tomatoes right here? I'm just going to cut them in fours. You cut them yours as small as, as you like. But me, I like to cut them in fours. Yep. I'm a, I don't have a chopping block, so I got all this on a plate right now. And I'm just going to throw it in the, in the pot. Okay. Oh, man, guess what I heard last night? R. Kelly got 30 years in prison, guys. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought maybe, you know, if he was going to get prison time, I didn't think it was going to be that long because he's a superstar and all the things they're saying about him, I don't know, but sure not. And he raped these little girls or whatever. You know, I love R. Kelly's music. I hope that he didn't, but if he did, oh my God, bro. I mean, you got time to think about it, but if you didn't do it, I pray for you, but if you did, bro, you got to you got to do your time because you don't, when you become a superstar, you don't have to do all of that. I'm not saying you did, but... Everybody said you did. So I don't know. Was allegedly when all these things were happening, I was defending the country somewhere else. So what I'm gonna do guys go ahead and continue to cut up these little pieces of tomatoes. And they're done. So the, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is add the cheese. I'll check on this uh Hamburger helped us, see what's going on with it, and it's doing oh so well. Stirring it up, stirring it up. Now, let's go ahead and turn it down and then low setting, and let it continue to cook about 15 more minutes. And look, y'all, this is what I love to eat. Like when you cook a couple eggs in the morning, or you're pretty much trying to get your protein in, and you know, less sugary and less carbs. I always save extra eggs just in case if I want to make a salad. I love to put egg whites inside my salad because it just brings out the flavor. And sometimes I wish I could eat the egg yolk, but the egg yolk is what got all of the high cholesterol and the calories, something that I don't need because I'm trying to watch my body fat and I am weight training now. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and crack up the egg. And I'm going to cut it into small pieces after I take the, the yolk out. Now, you guys might want the yolk in your stuff, but me, no, not for me. And Lord, Thanksgiving time and all that, I will have to have the yolk in my salad. I love it. I love it. You know, even though the egg is dried up, what I like to do is go ahead and put more water on it. And what it does, it loosens up the shell so it'd be easy to peel. But I've heard um, a lot of my friends on YouTube and even the girls I know say to put some salt in the, your eggs while they're boiling, and it and it makes so it makes easier for the you know the uh, shell to come off. And I didn't know that, and I never tried it, but when, I think next time I will. Just see how it goes, and I can tell you about it. I'm sure it works. A lot of people said that, so I just never tried it. What I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, peel this egg. They got these new containers now, guys, where you just can basically uh, take your egg and put it inside of a container. You don't even have to worry about shedding or peeling eggs. I never tried that. So if you guys ever tried it before, can you put in the comments how it turned out? Because I would think about getting it. Because my biggest pet peeve, I hate, I hate peeling eggs. I do. You got to take time and patience. If you're just impatient, you'll mess it up. But me, I've learned. I just, I just hate it. I hate it. I don't know why. I guess, you know, helping my aunts and my mother cook for Thanksgiving dinners, etc. I just hated it. I wanted to go outside and be with my friends, but I couldn't do anything to my chores were done. And my biggest pet peeve is always like, yeah, screw the egg. My mom used to get so mad at me because I didn't feel right. Like, go on outside. I just hated it. I did. And it's so tedious. So, what I'm doing right now, guys, is going to rinse off my egg because I don't like no shells in my egg. No, no, no. Can't do it. And. What I'm going to do next is. Make sure it's off. That is. Y'all hear the gas? They say gas is going to go down. Listen to the news in the background. I'll see it when I believe it. Every time they tell us 
that um, the gas is going to go down here in North Carolina, South Carolina, it goes up. So what I'm doing now, as you guys can see, I'm taking out the egg white, the, excuse me, the egg yolk. And uh, normally, I would go ahead and put them to the side and make some double eggs, but not today. Can't eat double eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wish I could, though. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take the uh, other half of this egg and take the yolk out because I'm going here. They're talking about rain. I hope we do get some rain today. And today is the day of my, my daughter's birthday. Y'all look at my community tab because I am going to I'll upload this video tonight. Make sure you guys get it before, um, before hopefully before 9 o'clock so you can enjoy, you know, test out the recipe and see how you like it. You can try it, share it out with your family. You know, it's a quick way to cook dinner when you ain't trying to stay in the kitchen so long. But, you know, me, since I'm talking, uploading the video, I'm not going to even edit it. Let you guys see what I do in the kitchen. And then after that, I'll promise you my next time I'll upload my cooking videos and be a little bit more professional and to the point. All right. But this is my first one, because like I told you guys, I am changing my name from Carolina Diamond Productions to Carolina Diners and more. Or if somebody said, just keep it Carolina Diamond Productions, I wouldn't know you're a CDP. If you guys think I should change my my uh, channel name to Carolina Diamond uh, Diner, let me know in the comment. Or should I keep it Carolina, just keep it Carolina Diamond Productions? Because they said production cover everything in Carolina. I was like, all right, whatever. I said, I'll take a vote. But anyway, getting back to the salad. I'm going to stir up the uh, hamburger pepper, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, y'all just please excuse me, Sam, guys, because I'm so used to saying that, meaning everybody. I said, you know what? Let me address people with you are. Ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm going to do now is continue to stir that up. I'll let that simmer a little bit more because I think it needs about 10 more minutes. And my corn smells so good. I am just going to add a little bit more water to it. Let it go for about five, about ten more minutes, and we hope you'll be eating about fifteen minutes from now. Okay. Okay. Now, as that goes, put that cup back in here because it's still clean. Okay. So we're gonna let that boil for about ten minutes, and the uh, half pepper, half pepper for about another ten minutes also. All right. Now, next thing we're gonna sell, y'all. We're gonna put some cheese in. I've been, ooh, last. I mean, recording for fifty-seven minutes. Can y'all believe that? I thought it's something gonna take about thirty-five minutes. It actually, turned into an hour. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys? You know, you gotta cut. You actually, pull it to the side. Put some of the cheese in here. I decided to be putting three cheese. I think I'm gonna put one cheese today, which is gonna be mild cheddar. I am supposed to be watching my freaking all those cheese. Lord, I'm wasting calories, right? Not burning off the calories enough. So I'm gonna put about a half a cup of cheese in it. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. So about a half a cup of cheese. Close that back up. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and stir all the ingredients around. You guys can see it in just a minute. I'm going to turn it right on so you guys can see everything. Excuse my kitchen. But as you can see, I'm going to sell it. I've got cucumbers. I've got egg whites. I have glazed turkey. I have carrots. I have um, lettuce, uh, romaine lettuce. I have parsley and pretty much add a little bit of salt just a little bit of salt a little black pepper usually i have accent y'all but today i don't have accent because i'm at the, uh, at the uh, market so i'm just going to use traditional black pepper and salt and a little bit of parsley just to wake up the favor of my salad just a little bit of love black pepper on my on my vegetables just a little bit of salt just a little bit of salt. Well, it, it becomes out. There we go. Just a little bit of salt. And what I'm going to do is take this plate, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. And by the time dinner gets started, it's time to serve me. And I need to take my phone, y'all. Yeah. 
Okay. Now. Okay, what I'm doing now, everybody, is checking my phone because I know I heard it go off. And the reason why I do it because sometimes I have some of my friends who subscribe to my channel call me and ask me questions or pretty much just checking on me. And right now, I do have the message from a very important person. It says, Check out your Twitter. <laughs> oh my god, I got a couple messages there, but anyway, it's all good. Check out open positions for a job resume. But anyway, cool. Nobody's really called. Let me see. Did I miss a call from anybody? No. Great. Great, great, great. Great. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and stir up just a little bit more, y'all. Right down a little bit. About there. Take on the corn. That one is great. I'm going to put a little bit more salt in it because I did add a little bit more water to it. Just a little bit. So, go ahead and add it like that. And stir it up very well. Okay. The corn is good to go. We'll turn it off. Turn the corn off. I'm going to just keep it on real well. Until my um, hamburger heifer is done. I've never seen anybody put hamburger heifer in a pot before, huh? Well, honey, I am the one to do that. What I'm going to do is check on the tenders of my macaroni or the extra pasta. You have a pasta cooker. And I'm, I'm not, I, I love to cook my pasta in a pasta cooker because for some reason you ain't got to worry about tasting it when you just cook it on a certain amount of time. Mmm. About five more minutes. Mmm. Y'all, it's so good. I better quit. I got two of these little noodles here. Do need to slam I'm going to spoil my dinner. Okay. Mmm. I'm going to continue to just go ahead and wash the dishes. I'll give about five more minutes. I'll give about ten more minutes. I like my, I don't, I like my pot coming up just right. And I didn't have it at the, on that high. I did that on a very low medium, about a five or six. Y'all, I always told you guys about it got really red hot. I think it pretty much burned out because I've had this stove now a very long time, and I think it's about time to go and get another stove, which is no problem because I'm in the process of getting new furniture. I finally found out the furniture guys I really want for for my living room, and I found it, and I'm going to go ahead and get it for my birthday. And so she getting the furniture for her birthday. What in the world? That's yeah, because I pretty much got everything I need, you know? I said, well, give me some, uh, buy myself some furniture. I know my kids would have bought it or, or somebody that's in my family. But I was like, no, I'm going to get it myself. Yep. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to tell y'all something somebody don't even tell y'all. If y'all think retired veterans are millionaires, y'all are sadly mistaken. <laughs> We don't make that much money. We made enough to take care of us. Depending on how many years you spend in the military and retire us. We make enough to take care of ourselves, but it's nothing compared to what we used to have when we were in the military. But if you to clear to a clear a true proper belief, a lot of people think we get medical, dental, and all that stuff. Honey, I'm telling you something when it comes to dental. You don't get dental unless you're one hundred percent disabled. I have to pay for my dental. And I was looking at YouTube and a couple more uh, New York Times, just looking at some, some things on the internet, and it's a doggone shame that people that's risked their lives for 20 years, and just anybody who joins the military, I don't care how long you stay in there, you got to pay for dental. Uncle Sam, y'all need to get that shit together, because I remember a time when I was in the military, a young little E67, when I could see my supervisor and their wives and their kids go to the dentist 
on posts or whatever and get treated for dental. How come we can't get that now? And we got time to risk our lives and to make sure that, you know, America stays secure. Don't you think when we come out that we should have security when it comes to our dental? Come on, y'all. Think about that. It was up to me and I was president. No service member pay taxes or have to worry about dental or medical. You know? That's something that's given when you get out. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Alrighty. That was smelling oh so good. Now look how much weight I've lost. Oh my god, I am so proud of myself. I remember I was drinking so much y'all. My I had two of these things going on. And you know, basically what I did, I, I took all the alcohol, took out sugar, I took out um, complex carbs, meaning rice and you know potatoes, and started eating more vegetables, um, drinking more water, staying away from sodas, drinking more uh, herbal teas, and walking. Yeah, I remember when I took my cast out, it was so hard for me to walk up the stairs. Did y'all realize I can walk a mile now out the physical therapy? Physical therapy is so demanding. Sometimes I cry, but I look at where I've been three weeks ago when I took out that cast, and now, honey, you give me six more weeks, I probably be walk running, 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 running. I just cannot wait. Y'all yeah, get up early in the morning by around 4:30, and you know I don't want to, but I say, you know what, I got to do this for me, for my daughters, so I can live a long time with my grandkids, because I want to be one million years old. My God calling me home, <laughs> you know, because I know we all gotta leave here one day. But keeping it one, I want to live as long as I can. Because I love my family, and but when our time comes, I'm gonna have like 25,000 generations. Like you know what, she's a good woman, she's a good mom, she's a good person. Period. That's how I want to go out. You know what I mean? And so in order for me to do that, I had to cut some things out of my life. Like one, the drinking. Um, two, um, get back to the basics. You know, get up early, having something to do every morning. Because you know when you retire, you're like screw it. I'm not gonna. Rely on a uh, alarm clock. I'm gonna get up whenever I want to. And you know, you spend years in the army, like I have, or you know, just even you've been in the army three or four years. You're so used to getting up at five thirty, four forty-five every morning. Me, I wake up at four forty-five. But you know what I do? I look at that clock and turn right back over. Now at four forty-five, I'm up, flexing, stretching, ready to hit outside or whatever my workout is gonna be. Pumping iron, all that stuff. Y'all see them guns coming in there? What? <laughs> it was flabby, y'all. About three weeks ago, and I'm like, wow. And I try to do some push ups. Oh my god, I remember when I was in the army, I used to do like 70 push ups in two minutes. Honey, I gave myself PT tests, I couldn't do 25, <laughs> but now I can do 40. 40. So sometimes we gotta know, even though you know how to do it, you may be a professional athlete, may have an injury, or you may even be a personal trainer who haven't been in a long time. If you have not taken care of your body and you know how to do it, I I send a challenge out to you, get back to it. Because I'm telling you, the first week or so is going to be hard. But when that third week come around, you're going to be like, oh, my God. Going back to the bases, I could do this. And I promise y'all, by August 15th, all this thing going to be done with a six-pack. And this booty going to be trouble like a tide. But right now, it might be jangling, but they're going to be ching ching. <laughs> all these lunges and stuff I'm doing, and it hurts my knee. So I can't go, I can't bend too far. But I go where I can just feel it like, you know, just hold it, hold it. Yeah. You know, working out. But y'all getting back to the food because we about to eat, y'all. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to show y'all exactly what this looks like. I'm going to put this lid inside of the sink. I love doing this so I don't burn myself. And then, you know, all that oil and all the water that comes off of it doesn't drain onto my uh, sink or onto my soap. So, this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. It is red egg. Red tea, red tea, red tea, red tea. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because it's good to go. I am going to show you guys what it's like. I'm going to eat a little sample, and then I'm going to let you go, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, if you like this video, you'd like to see more content like this, like, subscribe, share me out, give me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Well, you know, I can say correct criticism, too. Just leave it in the comment. Let me know what you think about it. Good or bad? Yeah, I'd like to take it off, because some folks can't take correct criticism. I can't. I love it. I love everybody's opinion, and I do read my comments, y'all. I try to answer all of them, even though some YouTubers, when they get past a certain number, they like start hitting that that little button. No, I'm gonna answer all my my, my um all of my uh comments. I love it, even if it's bad. You know, I still answer. Thank you for what you said, but I know you may not agree. It's such you know to some that no, because I think even sometimes when people put comments on your videos and they may seem negative to you, 
maybe they don't know what, what maybe um you're not reading it from their level. So answer it back, you know, as best as you can. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and give me some corn over here. Y'all, I eat in uh, fist size portions. I do, I don't count calories, I just look at my portions. Portion radio and rate, rate ratio, which is a fist size. Go ahead and put that back on there. Make sure my stove is off. And now, what I'm gonna do now, y'all, is uh, get my salad. I'm trying to uh, find me a fork, but I gotta open this drawer and it's stuck. No problem. So I got my pork. I'm gonna go ahead and get my salad. You guys see what's going on here? All right. I know my gonna have my camera, my tripod on that stuff in the back. I started cooking out some hungry not miss out so I can sit down and eat y'all. So right now I'm getting my salad. Ugh. Getting out my trusty salad spatula. What I'm gonna do, y'all. Oh my oh, god, this is gonna be great for me. I love I love cooking and eating good, y'all. Eating good, wholesome food that's good for your health, that's good for the soul. I'm going to put a portion of my salad there. I try to make it look cute, y'all, but, but today I am hungry. So y'all bear with me for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the refrigerator. And my choice of dressing is going to be Italian dressing. Believe it or not, Italian dressing is probably the best dressing because it's not condensed as like um, things like ranch and Thousand Islands. So it's less in calorie. The thinner your dressing is, the better it is for you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get my $1,000, not thousand dollars I wish I did Italian dress. I love $1,000. I wish I could have some, but not for the next six weeks. So I'm going to put a little bit of that, just a teaspoon, not a teaspoon, but less than a, about a tablespoon. And that. Y'all got some calories behind that, uh, those, uh, the calories in the fat and take on those labels. I don't always read it, but when it says fat, more than uh, six grams of fat in a dressing salad, I don't need it. But some of them has up to 28 grams of fat in it. And all them sit-ups you're doing, honey, you ain't doing nothing. Wasting your time. You're going to use all that. And some of y'all don't know the difference between tablespoons and six tablespoons. I go to the buffet sometimes, I'm like, I'm on a dad, girl. Girl, I'm going to put about six dog on a uh, bottle of $1,000 on a little salad. And I wonder why she can't lose weight. I'm not a help y'all, but I just know how to do it, how to do it way, you know. Come on, Sam, come on, man. I love, and I love doing it. Okay. Now, I had to put that drawer back in there, y'all, because it did get stuck. I had to put a little bit of oil on it. Let me wash my hands, y'all. I'm going to test out the food. And my choice of drink today is going to be water. I love water. Actually, I got a diet coke over here. Okay. Y'all, I really got this new application I'm recording my video on. I hope it comes out right. I am because I would be so mad if I been cooking in this kitchen for one hour and wait a minute, what I'm here? One, uh, one hour and 13 minutes is going to come out right. Well, y'all, to test out the food, I got my little Pepsi over here. I'm going to go ahead and sample it for you, show you guys how good it is. I got my corn right here. Mmm, bon appetit, baby. Slam it. Y'all, they got me, y'all. Uh, mm, that's good. I can taste the great butter in it. Not too subtle, but just right. And then I have my hamburger helper here with my ingredients in it. Mmm. 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 Woo. Mmm. Y'all. This is so good. <laughs> I got to pop my flavor, but. Mmm. That is good, y'all. Get a little bit of salad right here. Mm. Y'all know it's the bomb. I love salads. Mm. 
Y'all, this is the best diet dinner that I cooked in a long time. Cucumbers is good. I can say it's the vinegar from the Italian. The corn is on point. Oh my God. And you notice I have no bread, y'all. No bread. And that's all right with me. And this diet coke. Wow, it's right on time. Thank you guys for watching me cook. It's been very real. This is play on the playback. And please believe me, y'all. No editing is going to be done on this one because it's going to be my first video for Carolina Diamonds Diner. But remember, y'all, if y'all want me to keep Carolina Diamond Productions, tell me in the comments or should I change it to Carolina Diamonds Diner? I think the production does sound better because I guess I had the name so long, but just the diner, just give me a true niche. You guys know I'm going to be cooking something and we're going to be talking about something. But so give me what your opinion, because your, your opinion, I very, I definitely, definitely value your opinion, okay? So until then, guys, much love. See you on the next video, y'all. Peace.